Okay, so same thing here as before. The guy start passing the light to the other side. I'm gonna see this and I'm gonna block here with my elbow joint. Right, I'm gonna go here to his belt and I'm gonna trap his leg with his foot here. Right, as I trap his leg, I can put the hook. I put the hook very low on his heel, right, to keep his leg straight. But this time the guy feels that I'm gonna take his back and he's gonna put his knee on the ground. So he, for him to be able to put the knee on the ground, he has to lift his leg. Of course, I want to maintain the leg straight here, right? But most of the people start to bring the foot towards the other side. He doesn't want to keep the leg straight, right? So now what am I gonna do? I'm gonna keep my both hooks here. You see how I'm keep both hooks on his leg? I have two hooks on his leg here, right? Or I'm gonna figure four here. It depends on where his body is. If my body's like this, I can figure four. If my body is more straight to him, I'll have two hooks here instead, right? With the hooks, I'm gonna straight his leg as I pull him to me. So I wanna drag him to me. I can either grab his belt, I can grab the back of his lapel if I can reach, right? Uh, and at the same time that I'm gonna pull him, I'm gonna escape my hip to the other side. So basically, I'm gonna pull here and I'm gonna escape to this side here. Look, he's falling to this side, right? As he's falling, I'm gonna go to the top. Okay, so same thing, the guy's gonna go to the other side. I'm gonna block his leg here, pull the leg to me. Right, get my elbow joint there. I'm gonna be blocking his leg with his leg and I'm gonna hook his leg very low here with my foot. Right, as, I'm, uh, as I have the hook here, I'm gonna start to try to take his back. But the guy will feel it and he's gonna put the knee on the ground. So put, the, put your knee on the ground. For him to be able to put the knee on the ground, he has to lift his leg here. But of course I want to keep the leg like that, but most of the people will try to, will try to rotate the leg. You can rotate your leg. They're gonna try to rotate the leg to, to go to the inverted half curve, but he can't quietly rotate since I have my hooks on his leg here, right? As he's rotating here, I'm gonna grab his belt. If you want, you can grab the opposite lapel there to give to this hand, right? And I'm gonna pull his belt here to me. As I'm pulling the belt to me, I'm gonna escape my hip. You see here how I'm escaping my hip? As I'm escaping my hip, my hip look how he's falling. It's important to keep his leg straight. Because when I straight his leg is when he's, he falls here. You can start to let it go one of the hooks and go to the top, right? Okay, so same thing here, but now from, from the X guard here, right? Before I get my, my X guard hooks, the guy's gonna start to try to pass the leg to the other side, right? So the guy passed the, the leg to the other side, I, do, I still do the same thing, and I block his leg. Maybe sometimes you, you don't wanna risk to put the hooks, you don't wanna escape your hip there, so sometimes you're gonna lift and come here, right? So you come here and you get the same position here, the same grips. Of course, the guy's gonna try to do this. If he doesn't, it, you know, even better for you, right? I'm gonna grab his belt and do the same thing. So I'm gonna put this hook here, or I'm gonna escape my hip and put the other hook on the heel. I can either have one hook or both. I'm gonna pull this as I'm gonna escape my hip. So look, it's not, it's not about straining the leg now, look. Escape my hip here as I'm pulling the belt. When I start straining my hook, look, is when he's gonna fall. So it's important to escape your hip before you start to straight your leg. Then you go to the top and you maintain the position.